So with this playlist, we've been talking about duplicates, both uh, standard, uh, exact, and, and fuzzy. And the, and the question was, as we started to look at adding all these things in, uh, and especially as we looked, and remember this is how we, we got out to the, uh, the setup, and we went out to duplicates, and we looked at the duplicate rules, and as we set up these duplicate rules, we're able to create alerts and reports. And what, what I want to do with this one is to talk about the reports. And kind of the, the other thing worth understanding is this idea of, of order of duplicate rules. And so if we look here and click at reorder, uh, what that brings us to is, is this uh, opportunity to reorder. So this shows the, the first step is to look for an exact match and then to look for a standard match, then to look for a fuzzy match. And so we could move these back and forth. But what that would do is each one of these rules is talking about how you respond uh, on a create. What, what, are you, what are you alerting? What are you reporting? How do you want to edit it? Uh, and then what to do with it. So if we want to look then at this report, we have to actually build it. It's not a standard report. So we're going to go out here and we're going to do a look up on report type. We're going to bring up report types, and it's going to show uh, what would you like to do. We're going to continue, uh, because what we want to do is to pop out and build a report type. We're going to go to a new custom report type. And what we're going to do then is to, as this is kind of the screen, and it's asking for information uh, to be able to build it. Uh, what I've done is just fill it in just so you've got a, a sense of what that can look like. So we're going to fill it in as a primary account. We're going to give it a report label. Uh, we're also going to pull up, we have to put in a description. We're going to store it, and this is the folder that we're pulling it in in the reports tab, and we're going to call it deployed. Uh, by clicking next then, we actually have a report type, and this duplicate accounts report type comes up. Uh, and we've got, this is the primary account. We want to then create to a related account. By s selecting here, uh, what we're going to be saying is, is we're looking for the duplicate. This is, you know, you can see it's a pretty random list here. Uh, but what we're doing is going for duplicate record items. And so we say, great, that's the one we want. Uh, and the object has no further relatable objects, so we're stuck there, but we want to keep at least an A for every B. And so we're going to say that's the match, and we're going to click Save here. And what that does is to create uh, this report type, which has been built. Uh, and it tells us how many reports we could go in and edit the layout, and that would let us know which specific fields we'd be putting into the system, but we're happy with what we've got now. It's, this shows us, though, what, we've, what we're able to pull from. And then what we're able to do is to go out to uh, a reports tab and say, great, so I'm going to go look at our reports, and uh, we're going to say, let's go to reports, and we're going to go to a new report. And this one is going to be, now, because we're in accounts, we can say here, yeah, we're going to go look at the accounts. And we're going to search a report type called a duplicate. Uh, duplicate account report. We're going to select it here. And we're going to continue. Uh, we're then going to come up with this information. Let me do some quick edits. So we've created a duplicate record report, uh, and a lot of it's using these duplicate record. You can see a duplicate record set we've done as a we've kind of grouped by that, uh, and we've 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 added that. We've also let's see put in let's see filters, but you know the, this is the other fields that we're looking at. We've added these filters, just basically all accounts, all time, and so we click save and run. And what we now have is a report that's going to show us uh, kind of what's been created by who by date. So what happens is each time uh, a duplicate record set is created, whenever the system alerts that there's been duplicates created, uh, it actually sets up one of these DRSs. And you can see 
the idea is this is who created it. So if there's a specific user who's actually building these things, you'll see it. Uh, it also can give you a sequence number and a date they were created. So hope that's helpful information and a good way to start to analyze the duplicates that you're creating within your reports. Thanks for watching.